Hey guys, this is Jay. It's been raining a little bit today, but I've got some cool parts to show you, so the show must go on. Today's video is about the Banks Power Technicooler Intercooler and Economine Tuner. Um, since this tuner is geared more for those using the truck for, for work, towing, hauling, stuff like that, uh, the action shots in this video are going to be with a trailer behind it. Um, the next video, uh, I'm hoping to take it out, and I, I'd like to take it to a drag strip to really show that this tuner is seriously powerful on the street. It's more than just giving you extra power to pull a load up a hill. Uh, it's a lot of fun to drive whether you've got a trailer behind it or not. Um, so yeah, this this video is going to be great and from what I've heard in the comments there's not a lot of videos about this tuner on the internet so hopefully this will fill in a gap for that and give you guys some good information. So hope you enjoy. Alright guys, just got a big shipment in from Banks Power, and I hope this is the last layer of the snowball of a build that my truck has turned into in the last week. Uh, I wanted to start off giving a huge shout out to Banks Power. Um, whenever my dealer called me last week and told me that one of the charge pipes had a boost leak in it, I immediately called them and Chuck at Banks Power. He really helped me out. Uh, just to be clear, I did buy these parts. Uh, this is not sponsored by them, but they knew the situation and they really helped me out on the shipping cost. Um, and I cannot be happier with these parts. Like the, the fit and finish and quality on everything is incredible. Um, these pipes are all mandrel bent. They're super smooth, a nice powder coated finish and the walls are thick. They're all bead rolled on the ends to help keep the couplers from shooting off. The intercooler is I mean it's awesome I've got it under wraps because I want to be sure that it stays protected but these cast in tanks are very high flow nice and smooth as you can see no square corners same thing is true on this side they're getting as much flow as they possibly can and this kit is complete I mean it comes with with couplers and clamps it comes with all the miscellaneous hardware and spacers you know bolts nuts washers everything you could need comes with a nice uh, isolator strip for the bottom and I mean this thing flows way way better than the factory um, the common issue which which I'm experiencing of one of these pipes rubbing into the steering is not present in this kit which is incredible since this is a bigger pipe than factory I'm not sure how they did that but they did and I'm excited to feel the benefits of it um, since I was going this far on the build, I figured it would only make sense to go ahead and top it off with this Banks Economine tuner. I want to get the most reliable power I can out of this. I'm not building this to be a drag race or any sort of race truck. I want this to be really fun on the street, but I want it to be very capable for towing and also as fuel efficient as possible. And that is why I went with this tuner. Uh, as you can see, this, this is not a tuner that just plugs into the OPD2 port and, and changes some stuff around. This tuner, let me walk around the back so you can see all these connectors. This tuner intercepts everything. I mean, we have all the bulkhead connectors from this truck and uh, it comes with, here's the six position switch. You can tune this on the fly and vary the power levels as needed. Of course, you can put it in the lowest level and get the best fuel economy possible. Um, it does have an OBD2 hookup, which just interfaces with the rest of the tuner to help it monitor everything. And lastly, it has uh, an EGT probe. And I'm really thankful for those PPE manifolds because I have a bung on each side and one of them is gonna get this probe and the other one is gonna get the probe for my autometer gauges. I'll show you guys those gauges in the next video. Um, but this thing, this thing is super complete and the reason I went with it, I mean one, as you can see, it intercepts all the signals, but it truly monitors and works to protect everything. This doesn't just throw fuel in it and put the responsibility on me. That's why it has an EGT probe, that's why it looks at the OBD2, that's why it intercepts all these signals and it protects the engine and the transmission. This this works with the transmission to help it adapt to the power at any of the six levels. And so it can respond to potential issues both in the engine controller and the transmission controller and really help keep your truck safe and make, there's, there's no point in making power if it's not reliable and just gonna break stuff. Um, so 
they're super complete they're both carb legal which is awesome um, they come with owner's manuals stickers all kinds of stuff anything you could want zip ties I mean nice picture of Gail put on your wall there <laughs> they've got everything um, and I again I you know you heard me saying it in that turbo video I'm super excited for this uh, this is this is gonna help with EGTs um, in the same way that the manifolds and up pipes and also the downpipe are and the, and the fleece performance turbo this is all gonna work together and my goodness guys I just can't wait to get this truck back and show you guys what it can do here's everything installed on the truck you can see the tuner mounts right to the side of the uh, electrical center here uh, it comes with some peel and stick tape on the back that is part of uh, velcro so you can easily remove this and just leaving the velcro strips behind if you ever do need to remove it from the vehicle and then put it back on later when you're ready to do so uh, these main bulkhead connectors right here it's just as simple as unhooking the harness from the computers and then plugging it into the banks tuner and then the connectors on the banks tuner replace the main harness going into the computers so it's, it's an inline tuner and as i said it intercepts all of these signals and modifies them to get the engine to run the way it would like to. And as you can see back here, here's the, the uh, hot side and the intercooler comes with these new couplers here because it does maintain the three inch diameter tube all the way up to where it needs to connect to the turbo and also to the uh, Y bridge of the intake. Here is the cold side. And I mean, it's what I love about everything I've shown you guys so far is that under the hood, this truck looks factory. I mean, it's the boost tubes are red, the turbo's black, but that's pretty much it. Um, the intercooler, I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see it, but it's hiding <laughs> underneath this plastic panel, and that fits just like stock, too. I mean, it, it is thicker than the stock one, but it banks truly got every bit of space they could in that thing and one thing you'll notice now because the intercooler is thicker it does push the radiator back a little bit and so now the fan is fully inside the shroud so there's a little bit of extra uh, cooling potential there but the install inside the cab oh it also came with these really nice badges i've got one on both doors and one on the tailgate but inside the cab, you have the diagnostic port. And so this, this wire runs out to the module. And it is important that you have this connected. Uh, I learned through the diagnostic codes that if you don't have this connected, it just flat out won't work. So that's another nice feature of the EconoMind is that there are some indicator lights on it. And if they're flashing red, uh, the pattern in which they flash red will tell you what the issue is but this other wire going up here is uh, to interface with gauges like the i-dash from banks or anything else i believe it's a standard connector and then of course you have the six position switch right here it's it's awesome on the fly tuning add or remove power as you need it and it's seamless you i mean it just works you don't even know it's happening so the the install it's very clean and honestly my whole intention with this truck is to do it as if you know this is a, a a banks power package from the factory i mean it stock appearance got the nice banks logos just like it came from the factory and everything under the hood looks pretty much factory it uh i'm super pleased with how all these all these upgrades as a whole work together, but especially how the bank's power upgrades really work uh, to get the most out of this truck. It is a blast to drive, and as you'll see soon with a trailer behind it, the thing can pull really, really well. Another benefit of this tuner that really stands out is the potential for increased fuel economy, hence the Econo and Econo Mind. Uh, I have the best mileage I have gotten since I have uh, had all this work done was a hair over 17, I believe it was 17.1 miles per gallon. Um, usually, because of how much fun this thing is to drive, my average is uh, low to mid 15s, probably around 15.3 miles a gallon is a good average there. And before all these upgrades, when the truck made significantly less power, 
my average was in the mid 13s so I mean that's two miles per gallon on top of 13 is a substantial increase I mean it's it's not it's not quite 20 percent like um, the uh, the website advertises but it makes more power so I'm driving it even harder <laughs> than I did before um, the the main thing is you can have fun and you get really good mileage with it and I'm super thrilled about that and I mean it's it's doing everything I would ever want it to do um, and yeah I'm thrilled way to go Banks Power all right here's the old parts it started getting a little dark so I got my Milwaukee portable Sun out here just to make sure you guys can see everything um, there's not a whole lot to say here but the obvious issue is that this charge pipe has a hole in it this is the classic LB7 issue where this area is way too close to some power steering components and clearly they're rubbing and this aluminum is the loser of that fight and it results in a boost leak over time um, this this was found out whenever the tech was of course removing all this stuff to prepare for the new turbo to be added um, and this pipe right here costs like five hundred dollars so that was what pushed me over the edge to just go right ahead and get the Banks Power intercooler and tuner but you can clearly see how much thicker the Banks Power is than, than this one it's probably at least half an inch to an inch thicker and that's why it pushes the radiator back but this is certainly not a bad unit I mean I, I don't I don't have any complaints about it it works great especially at stock power level the only real issue is just that there is some interference and you can of course get replacement charge pipes that solve that issue uh, without having to pull the whole intercooler out um, but I've never had any issues with the couplers um, or any other things coming apart it's it's literally just that there's a hole in this one from from rubbing um, it's everything is still uh, sturdy there's there's no issues as far as cracking that I'm aware of uh, in the intercooler and yeah I mean if you have a very mild to stock truck these are great parts and if you take care of them and are aware of this issue and uh, you know potentially just change out this one tube they will last a lifetime and these were removed from the truck at 250,000 miles and it took that long for that to happen. Another thing to note, the factory intercooler does have uh, three inch inlets and outlets, so you will need to reuse these uh, couplers uh, because of course the factory boost tubes also are three inch. They do neck down um, to two inch at the uh, inlet to the Y bridge and outlet from the turbo. But other than that, everything is three inch. Before we get to the action shots, I wanted to say a few things real quick. First thing I want to say, Big thanks to Adam Tipton and Bluegrass Christian Camp for helping me out with this. He filmed the flyby with the trailer going uphill, and he was also with me the entire time we were on the interstate. I really appreciated that support because this is a very heavy trailer, and it was a little bit sketchy at first, so having another person in the cab with me while I'm filming and talking and driving is, is very helpful, and I really appreciate his time. Also, the section that we drove on, the on-ramp, uphill, and then the off-ramp, I was super naive to think that I was going to get that footage the first round, so we did that 10 times back to back to back without any cool down, and the truck had no issues with it. I mean, it was the hottest it has ever been, coolant temp wise, but there were no signs of distress. As a final note, before you see the trailer pull up the hill, I want to be absolutely clear that the entire drivetrain of this truck is stock. The, the long block, everything. The only modifications I've done have been bolt-ons to the engine. So I just really want to emphasize that this is the kind of power that these Allison transmissions can take when you have a tuner that respects them. If you don't have a tuner like the Economind, all bets are off. These transmissions can handle a lot of power when they're treated properly, as I hope you'll see. All right, we got the trailer loaded up. Let's pull this thing out on the interstate and see how it does with some real weight behind it. We're going to be pulling this up a pretty steep hill, so it's really going to show just how much better this truck is with that Economion turned all the way up. First, we'll start off in level one so you can see just how these bolt-on parts do on a stock truck, and then we'll run up through the power level so you can really see just how much power this Banks tuner is adding. It's going to be great. All right, we got the truck out on the interstate. 
This is level one of the Banks tuner, so no added power. We got the windows up and the AC on, so this will show you what this truck can do. Stock with bolt -ons. Cruise was set at 65. There it goes, head to downshift. Still blowing cold. Well, it downshifted, but it's back up to speed just like that. All right, this is level one, no added power, 70 miles an hour with the AC on. Let's see if it'll hold this hill. We've already slowed down about three miles an hour. EGTs are, there it goes. The EGTs were at 1100 degrees when it did that. All right, here's 70 miles an hour at level six, going up the same hill with the AC on. Let's see how well it does. got further that time. I think that bump on the bridge is what got it to downshift. But level six is certainly more powerful than level one. You can tell the Economind is doing what I'm paying it to do. Just like that, back in fifth gear. Let's turn the key on so we can see these autometer gauges light up. Man, I'm thrilled with the way these look and they match my dash perfectly. Thanks for watching and remember, if it's smoking, it's broken. <laughs>